Hello, and this video will show you on how to use Postream Iterator on your program. So, first, to give you a head start, we should know what is an output iterator. So, an output iterator or iterators can be used in sequential output operations there where each element pointed by the iterator is written a value only once and then it is incremented so a part of output iterators is an O stream iterator uh, these are the output iterators that write sequentially to an output stream such as C out there so let's start to use O stream iterator in our program Okay. But first, before you start your program, you should know what headers are you going to put. So here we're going to put an, we're going to include an IO stream for the STD scope resolution operator C out. I'll include the algorithm for the STD scope resolution operator copy and a vector for the STD scope resolution operator vector and an iterator for the STD scope resolution operator O stream or iterator. Okay, so on, I'm, on our main program, we're going to have an int vector. So we're gonna put STD vector int my vector as our name as the name of our vector and then we're gonna have a condition under this for the possible output of our program and we're gonna put i is equals to 1 and if i is less than 10 we're gonna increment i and then We're gonna put uh, my vector that push back. Sorry, push back. Sorry, there. That will not run. So, okay. So you should be careful on your variables that you're going to use. For example, this one. should put a capital I if it is a capital I and the lower I if it is a lower I okay so after that we're gonna use now our O stream iterator then we're gonna put int because that is the data type that we wanted to be printed out and then we're gonna have out it as C out and then STD copy my vector. We're gonna get the beginning of the vector. Begin and also we're going to get wait I'm sorry. So we're going to get the end of my vector. And sorry. And that's it. Let's see if it's going to run. Let us compile it. And there it is. So here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That is where our condition for int i is equals to i is used. And my vector is used here. The pushback in my vector is used by the answer of i multiplied by 10. There. So, push back here is going to put the first condition 
that will be executed at the back of the lineup. So if i if e is equals to one and one is less than ten, we're gonna multiply one times ten, and we're gonna maintain it at the first line up. So we'll be there until the last until the last um, part of the condition became false. So that's it. That's how to use O stream iterator, where in you can use it to print out the data type that you wanted without um, totally using C out. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.